Alright, hello and welcome to Bevo's Tech Pack, episode number 63. I'm Malrat28, and I'm kind of lost on what I want to do today. Uh, over the past few days, I've come to the realization, well, let's actually be completely fair here, I've known for a very long time. My Emmy system that I have set up here is a complete and utter mess. It's not really good, it has nothing really good set up in the way of auto-crafting, it's small, it's really overburdened, it's uh, pathetic. It's the best way to describe it as pathetic. So what I've been thinking is that I need to improve it, and well, right now the main thing that's stopping me from improving it is the fact that since it is so tiny and so small, it's taking a while to do anything with it. Uh, currently I have a bunch of stuff queued up to craft so that I'm able to actually start expanding to make a real Emmy system, uh, but that's something that's going to take me a few days to actually get working, so we're not doing that today, I don't have enough time to wait for that stuff to finish up. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, actually play around a little bit with uh, Pneumaticraft. I know I had said I really didn't want to touch it, but I, I'll be honest, I'm moderately curious about the mod itself and I'd like to see some of the stuff. Plus I have a few things that I would like to try that I'd be interested to know if it works and if it does, I want to be able to make use of it. Um, what I'm going to do though, we're not going to be doing Pneumaticraft up here. I am uh, going to repurpose my original starter house down here. We're going to clear out some of the excess stuff and take care of all the Pneumaticraft stuff down here. Um, I might eventually install a network bridge so I have easy access to my uh, ME system. Oh, and ignore this. I forgot to fill this back in. <laughs> Alright, um, I just need to go ahead and uh, get the stuff a little bit organized. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about decorating this any, I just need to fill stuff in. Hello? Oh, I know where that guy is. He's over here. I catch creepers in here all the time. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I will be right back as soon as we get this place cleared up just a little bit. Alright, so first things first, I want to do a little experiment here. Um, one of the first ways to get actual um, compressed iron, I believe it's called, for uh, Pneumaticraft is actually by blowing it up. So if we go ahead and drop this stack of iron, put this TNT down, oh, okay, drop the stack, put the TNT down, and light it, that should in theory give us some compressed iron back. So we got 56, right? So that's not a bad about bad amount back at all. Uh, what I wanted to find out is if it actually requires the explosion effect to go off or not. And boy, that might sound like a little bit of a stupid question. There is a pretty, uh, if it works, it'll be interesting. I don't think it'll work, but I think it's worth trying. Um, you know what? That monopole does me no good without a monospreader. <laughs> uh, oh, well, we'll just put the entropinium down. It should be okay by itself. Uh, what we're going to do, we are going to go ahead and put down some, uh, we'll put down the redstone block last. Even without something to dump into, I should be able to at least get one of these things off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw out another stack of iron here. The question I have is, will that work? The answer is no. Okay, it re actually requires the proper explosion. The entropinium must cancel it. All right, so in that case, let's go ahead and uh, just convert all of this. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Get out of my inventory, please. Now, I don't know if we can actually convert this many at once, but I'm swimming in iron, so it really doesn't matter. It looks like the answer is yes again. <laughs> All right. Um, I will probably need to go get myself some more iron and stuff, but what we can use this stuff for, if we go ahead and look it up, uh, you can use make compressed iron gears, which take compressed iron ingots and iron. You can make pneumatic dynamos, uh, pressure gauges, so we're gonna need some gold, some pressure chamber walls, which take actual uh, just the iron ingots which we have now which is good pressure chamber windows which are obvious 
see pressure chamber valves, cannon barrels, pressure chamber interfaces, which is one of the first things we're going to need to make, which means we need pneumatic cylinders, which means we need this uh, rain plant plastics, which we have plenty of those seeds. We just need to make a chamber. Um, and I think we also use this stuff to make the... We want to go back to shape, we want to go the other way. See, pneumatic door, there we go, pressure tube, which is just the uh, iron and glass. Yeah, so basically we're just going to need some more iron, some more... Uh... Oh, interesting, you don't need to use uh, iron, you can use stone gears. The omnidirectional hopper is actually really neat. It's a pretty neat item, and it lets you. It functions as a hopper, but in any orientation, which makes it infinitely more useful. Oh yeah. All right. So I suppose first things first. Let's uh, go about getting a uh, pressure chamber set up. Now I only cleared a little bit of space in here, so I will need to remove some more stuff later, but we should be okay for now. Uh, first things first, let's get that out of here. Um, the minimal size that we're going to need for this is going to be a hollow 3x3 three three cube. Um, so assuming we're going to do that, we're going to need a total of 18 of these for the top and bottom. Um, let's see, we're going to need a... How do you... Oh yeah, that takes glass. Do I have any glass in here? No, but I have iron, so that's good. This is what I get for actually not paying attention. I thought I had some glass here originally. There is something right in this little area that when I look the right... Well, wrong direction. I get a nice little lag boost. It's uh, spamming chunk updates. I'm not quite sure what's doing it, actually. Yeah, no, it looks like I actually need to uh, get some uh, glass yet. So for now, what we're going to do, we're just going to do a little uh, destruction of beach property. I can fix it later. And since we're just doing this, may as well go ahead and get eight of them so we can make an even amount. Shut the door. Alright, I should have some furnaces inside of the one over here furnace. Sand and uh, charcoal is right there. Perfect. Cook up, please. Let's get rid of anything we really don't need here that is a tile entity. What if I can craft it using clear glass? Wow, this is terrible. Let's check some of that real quick. 20 FPS, 20 check updates, 0, 3. Yeah, there's something around here. It's just doing really terrible stuff. Oops, that's a hole. Let's put the TNT away for now. We don't want to hurt ourselves. See if clear glass works. It does, that's fantastic. Okay, so we have the pressure chamber window. Um, see, we're also going to need four more of the regular ones for the sides of the uh, middle layer, which would be, see, 18 and then four is 22. And that's 26, so I have two extra pressure chamber walls. Uh, we really don't need to make any additional for now. I could make a bigger setup, 
but at the moment it's uh, not a priority just because this is intro to pneumatograft. Oh, we also need to take some of this clear glass and make a bunch of pressure tubes. Bunch. Bunch. There we go. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> It's way too much. Okay, I also need to make a, um, I believe it's called an air compressor. Yeah, it is. Which is a furnace with uh, some compressed iron ingots and a pressure tube. Just so happens to be, we have some uh, excess furnaces over here. Because I tore down more than what I put back. There we go. Let's go ahead and just take one of these things. Oh, lovely, it's a blood moon. How much does it take to make an advanced one? Yeah, we're, we're not there. Alright, so we have an air compressor, we have some tubes. Let's go ahead and get our multi-block set up. And that. And then we're going to need to get some of the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the rain plants, so that we can actually make an interface for dropping stuff in and out. Because until we get that, we're going to be kind of wasteful. Alright, so pressure chamber wall, we're just going to do it straight like this. Just like we're building a coke oven almost. Tell you what, for the back, we will, uh, let's just do like this. We'll just do glass in the immediate front one. All right, so glass, glass. Glass. What did I do wrong there? Oh, it needs a valve. Duh. All right. Let's get it off the screen. Uh, can this be in any position, or does it need to be on a wall? I think it needs to be in the middle of a wall. Ugh, I did not put you there. There we go. We got a pressure chamber. We also have a really annoying blood moon. Gotta tell you, I do not like this part of the random things mod. Okay, so we got a pressure chamber. It's a 3x3. Three three. It has no actual pressure to it. And it's not connected to anything. So at this point in time, it will not do anything for us whatsoever. Yeah, it's it's a dud. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to pass so everything's not so red. And maybe see if I can find out what's causing the uh, dip in frame rate. I'll be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and I put some of the uh, rain plant scenes I have inside of the uh, pressure chamber here. We are currently waiting on this air compressor to build up a little bit of actual uh, pressure to it. I think it's got to be up to about one bar. Well, you know, actually, I don't know what the units are for this, but I'm going to call it a bar. I should probably uh, find out. Yeah. Actually, having an understanding of uh, what the... Yeah, it's a bar. Okay, yeah. No, that was right. Yay! All right, so we are creating uh, stuff. That's good. Let's go ahead and take this out. We don't want to burn too much. So unfortunately, as soon as we open this, we're going to start losing air pressure. Hmm. 
<laughs> what the heck is... <laughs> oh my. I think there might be a mix-up. Let's, let's... Oh my. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, let's let's get let's get some pressure tube here. All right, so that's open to the world. If we were to go ahead and put something down, it's going to vent, right? If we uh, put a block there, it'll dead end into the block, right? Okay, good. Yeah, good. So what we're gonna do just to test something? Okay, no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, um. Pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. Oh my god. Stop, 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 please stop. I hope anyone watching this is not, uh. uh I hope you don't have epilepsy. <laughs> oh, that's just. That's just crazy. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing with this is we need to go ahead and make a few items. Uh, what our ultimately our goal is to make is the, uh, let's see, it's an item, what was it, item shifter or item? Okay, it's pressure <laughs> to us. There we go. Pressure chamber interface, which takes a hopper, which is easy, and the pneumatic cylinder. That's what it was. Pneumatic cylinder. Which takes the rain plant plastic, which we have, some of the compressed iron, and some uh, cannon barrels. Which is easy. It requires then a safety tube module. This module will release high pressure gases when a certain threshold is reached. Okay, that's neat. Which means we need some levers and some pressure gauges, which is just gold and some iron ingots. Uh, so for now, we're going to need two of those things, which means we need to break, sound, break down some of the stuff I have on me. Get out of my inventory. One, two. All right, so we got that. We are then going to use those to make that, which means I need to make some sticks. You know what? What's in there? Congratulations, compressed iron, you're going in that barrel. There we go, we have room now. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make some sticks because you always need more sticks. And I will need lovers, so let's just make a lot of them. So gauge, lever, lever, and valves. So we have the safety two module, goes in the corner. We're gonna get the compressed iron and I believe it goes like this, right? Yeah, and we're making two of those. Okay, so we have that. We're then going to go ahead and flank it with the blue plastic. It's dark blue anyway. And then one, two. Pneumatic cylinder. So far so good. Alright, uh, we are going to need a hopper, which means we're going to need a chest. So chest. Hopper. Alright, so we have hopper, we have uh, cylinders, and then did this take more plastic or am I uh, going completely crazy here? No, it took the iron. There you go, pressure chamber interface. Uh, tell you what, we'll go ahead and put this over here. Oh, you know what, that's under pressure. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm getting a little bit of an issue here with my frame rate, as I mentioned. Um, I'm not sure how much more of this I'm actually going to be able to record. So what I think I'm going to do, I just want to go ahead and see if this gets working. If it does, uh, we'll try going a little bit further. But if I run into any really serious issues, I'm probably going to have to cut this episode a little bit short. Um, I had mentioned before in the previous one 
previous one being an episode that I really didn't want to have to take it upon myself to update my version of Bevo's, I'm thinking I might need to do so. Um, the added bonus, if I do that, I um, am going to be able to see if I can actually work Mechanism 8 into the pack. It is a brand new version of Mechanism. It has some new reactors and stuff, flamethrowers, some really cool new neat stuff, including a uh, some new modular upgrades. So, like before, say, for um, if you have a Mechanism smelter in the world, right, you can now take an upgrade kit and turn it into a factory without picking up the actual furnace itself. It keeps all the settings, but it now has more space. It's pretty awesome. Just like if you wanted to upgrade a uh, chest in world to an iron chest. Works just as well. Uh, let's see if this works though. We're going to go ahead and put this uh, rain plant seeds in here. With any luck, they should end up being sucked out of the chest and spit into the pressure chamber. So far, so good. And the chamber's almost up to one bar's worth of pressure. Let's go ahead and take that out. That should be more than enough. You know what? Put one more back in. Oh yeah, this is kind of bad. It's curious though, I'm not I don't get this kind of frame drop over by my sky base, even when I have all those uh carpenter's blocks and stuff. So there's something over here that's Alright, anyway, it made plastic. That's fantastic. It's fantastic plastic. Alright, and right now this isn't doing anything because it needs to have an inventory to drop into, so for now we're just gonna go ahead and put a hopper here. And that should, unless I'm crazy, pull out all the plastics. Yeah, there should be more than four in there, please. Actually, how many do you get out of a seed? Is it one seed per plastic? That is not what I hit R on. I hit R on that. No, it should be one to one. Why the bleep did I only get... Oh, that's why. I wonder if there is a strict inventory limit on how many things can fit in there. Yeah, I got 12 in there still. Okay. That might explain it. However this works. Uh, that said, I am officially getting more lag than I really want to deal with right now. Um, I need to go investigate what this is. Rather than put you all through waiting for me to figure it out, because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it quick. Uh, let's... Oh, I can't even turn my head. Let's get out of here. Alright. Getting out of there... It's something over by that particular area. I'm not sure what it is, and we definitely have to find out. I don't get that kind of uh, frame drop when I'm over in my mob farm, so it's got to be something that's new, and I'm hoping it's not uh, new Metacraft. I don't think it is. I mean, I think it's something else. I think it's, at this point, though, I just have a lot of outdated mods. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, thanks for watching this very short and very abridged episode of Bevo's Tech Pack, and for that I am very, very sorry. Um, but when we come back Friday, hopefully this will be all sorted out, and if it is, and maybe if it's not, um, I'm going to be working on actually updating my version of Bevo's to the newer versions of all of the COFH core mods, including like uh, Thermal Dynamics, which is not actually part of Bevo's, but I'm going to put it in there as well as updating Mechanism, Pneumatic Craft, Project Red, all that jazz, including, well, pretty much, let's just say I'm going to be updating everything. It's going to be a complete update. Um, anyway, until then, I will uh, see you later. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a message in the section below. And as always, have a good day.